Every Pokemon game has its fair share of secrets and easter eggs, and of course Let's Go is no exception. We've already found neat wings to the Johto region, but one city in particular is full of references to other games, Switchception, and even more, and that's of course Celadon City. There's quite a lot to cover here, so instead of rambling on, let's dive in. The game corner is a little less interactive than in the past, likely due to gambling regulations, so while we can't interact with any of these machines, there are some neat easter eggs behind each and every row. These aren't slot machines, these are now arcade machines. So let's start with the first one. It's a game in which you match three pictures. Staring at it makes you dizzy. This is very likely a reference to Pokemon Shuffle, though it could technically be any match three game. The next, it's a Pokemon fighting game. Is Pikachu fighting in a mask? This is of course a reference to Pikachu Libre in Pokemon Tournament. We then have, it's a game in which you lead many Pokemon to a goal. And this one's a bit weird, as Let's Go is actually referencing itself with the Let's Go Play Yard, where you do exactly that. The final two are references to Pokemon Yellow. It's a game in which Pikachu surfs on a surfboard. This is referencing Pikachu Beach, where Pikachu would ride waves and perform tricks. And finally we have, it's a game in which Pokemon fly high with balloons. We think this is just referencing the flying Pikachu that's appeared in numerous games like Yellow's Opening and Pokemon Snap. Phew, that was pretty condensed, but we're not done yet. Just like the original games, you can find Game Freak's offices within the Celadon condominiums. While the first floor isn't anything too exciting, the second floor leads to the Game Freak reception room, where you'll find a Game Freak employee who says, I'm having a meeting with an important client. You want to join in? Where the client replies, Oh boy, must be nice working at a company where you don't even have to wear a suit. These guys weren't in the original game at all. On the next floor, we're greeted by the Game Freak Development Office, and unlike the Game Boy version, there are now 5 NPCs opposed to 4. Looks like Game Freak have really expanded their staff. Dialogue is largely the same as the original with some small differences, although the woman at the bottom right asks you to come and see her once you've earned a title. She'll let you change your title once you have. In the top right of the office, there's a really neat poster of the original Pokemon Red and Green, and in the top left, Yellow and Blue. You can even see a sprite of the overworld Pikachu from Pokemon Yellow on this calendar, and there's also some Nintendo Switch systems around the office, all with great and unique remarks. It's the game code, messing with it could bug out the game. It's the script, better not look at the ending. Someone's playing instead of working. There's some really cool stuff in here. Now let's head over to the Celadon department store. Oh what the heck? It's Brock. Well it looks like they've given him a bit of his anime personality. I'm on my way back from visiting Celadon City Gym. Keeping in touch with other gym leaders is part of our duties after all. The girls at the gym turn me away for some reason though. And yeah, that sounds like Brock. And now that's out of the way, let's go ahead and step inside. On the third floor, we'll find a video game shop. In the original game, this would have Super Nintendos lying around with two kids trading on Game Boys. But in Let's Go, it's all about the Switch, baby. There's even posters for Game Freak's other Switch Pokemon game, Pokemon Quest. Apparently Kanto is a very trusting region to just have undocked Switch systems lying around. And those are all the Celadon easter eggs we found in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. What was your favourite, and have you found any details of your own? Let us know in the comments below, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on Pokemon and other things gaming too. Until next time, bye!